Hey guys, it's Sanilius and welcome back to Bethesda's lovely game of Starfield. Let's carry on from the end of the last save game, so bear with me whilst I'm loading. Now looking back at the last episode, you might remember us having built a brand new ship. Um, I'm not quite happy with the configuration of the ship, so I'm going to make some changes to it shortly. But I need to travel to a different location to do so. Now I did want to have a quick look here in what is actually in the ship's inventory. Is that my inventory I want to look at? No, uh, sorry, I wanted to look at the openings for the doors. So we've got one in the center up here and we've got one in the center down there. So that basically means I, I was thinking of putting one here and another one over there, but I can't. It always has to be in the center. So this is already a massive space, as you can see. We're going to change this out for something entirely different. Let's actually have a look at the planet we're currently on. Uh, we, of course, are at this cave here. I should be able to travel to that. So later on in the episode, we should, of course, be able to... Ah, did I not already visit this? I think I did. I think I actually went in here last episode. Yes, I did. It was a matter of finding all the relevant materials that are actually present in here. Cesium. Am I able to mine that? I'm not sure I can. No, it doesn't seem like I can. That's okay though. Um, what we're actually just going to do, we're going to leave this cave. We're going to leave it for now. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to make our way to the place where we can do some works on this. So what system are we in? We're currently in the... Uh, I'm not sure what system this is. This is the Olympus system. We want to go to... Not that system. What system is it again called? It wasn't Cheyenne. It was something with an N. Narian. Is that the one? I think so. We're going to go to the Start Eklund Shipyard. Because I do suspect that they got some interesting bits for me. Stroud Eklund is open for business. Come aboard and let's see about getting you a solid upgrade. Thank you. Appreciate that. So have a look at my actual skills here now in terms of the actual ship design. Um, I'm currently at rank 2. I cannot go to rank 3. I need to do 15 unique ship modules, which won't be difficult, particularly if I go to a new ship designer like here. I can reuse some of the parts I've got at the moment, which, of course, most definitely cockpit I want to reuse. Maybe the engines, but I'll have a look what they got as alternatives over here. Let's dock with them. I'm thinking of making something with, with wings that are basically attached to the uh, to the tubes that I basically got in my ship. Okay, Stroud Eklund. Oh, where is the person here? Habershaw's in the showroom. If you're ready to buy, these ships are nice, but compared to a truck. Customers. <laughs> Customers. Customers. Habershaw can help. Stroud Eklund may be new. But it has allowed us to learn from the others. Let's get you set up. Okay, so what we're going to go do, we're going to go to the ship builder. We're going to basically add new models, modules, I should say. If I were to look at cockpits, none of these cockpits are multi level, are they? They're all single level, as you can see. And they're all connecting from the bottom, as you can see, except for this one, the Viking. The Viking can actually be integrated in it, isn't it? Hold on, let me just have a look here. So if I basically were to add the Viking into here. Where is the entry point? Sorry, hold on, Viking. It can lay on top of stuff, but actually the entrance is at the back. Hmm, interesting. It's 
the same with the other model of the Viking. How much is this? This gives me 300. It actually requires rank 1. Does this require any ranks? No, none of these require any extra ranks as such. So I think what I will do, I'll keep this bridge. So let's start by moving the bridge off. Moving it to a space where I can work with it. So we might remember, of course, when we looked in the ship at the beginning of this episode, we got two entrance points. And I guess these are the markers for that. I want to reuse, of course, my weapons and such, but I want to use the elements, the, the habitats from here. So in here we got different habs. This is a three by two. And of course different designs. So why does it, ah, it's three by two, of course, this way. Okay. I was already wondering why is it saying three by two, but yes, it should be two by three that we're looking at. So that's a cargo hole or the mess hole. Let's start by putting this at the bottom. Perfect. It doesn't look as nice as the other one, maybe. Or is that just the figure or the, the shape of it? Maybe. It's just a shape. It could be. Uh, mess hole. Maybe the mess hole should be at the top. And then underneath there, we will add... I can just add three singles in reality. It doesn't necessarily need to be the same mess hole thing that we basically just looked at. Has we got any one by threes? We got an all in one berth and an engineering hall. There's a companion way. Interesting. I think I'm going to do that companion way. Perfect. So if I put that companion way here, It should allow me to basically connect stuff up to it in, in different directions. As you can see there's doors and everything onto that. So kind of make it a, a central hall that's quite tight. And then I'll start adding some stuff onto there. All in one berth. Nope, that's not it. There we go. That should... Only one. Perfect. Now I can put a two by one in the center here. Armory, captain's quarters. Computer core, I think, is what we're going to put there. There we go. That creates that platform nicely. Um, I did have, of course, those companion ways, these ones. And I'm going to leverage those to create my wings with. Do I want to do that from the top? Yeah, I can do that from the top. Or should I do that one lower? Maybe I'll do that one lower after all. Marvelous. Okay. These landers are Nova Galactic. Uh, I could reuse them. There we go. One, two. One, two. And these kind of struts. I, I'm not sure we got engine struts from Stardeckland. Let's have a look what we can potentially put in here. Um, we saw, of course, we had the... These we already have. Workshop, science lab. Let's put that at the front of it. And then I basically put it backwards. Marvelous. I'll do the same on the other side. I got living quarters. Oops. Or better yet, I'll put the captain's quarters on this side. 
as well as hold on it's a, a, a armory right next to it then again I maybe want to put the armory over here let's put it over here then I got the living quarters hold on what have I got already that's the captain's quarters. This is the armory, science lab, and workshop. So I do want to get some living quarters as well. Okay. I do want to put one more at the back of that, and that should be sufficient. Which one have I got? Not got yet. The infirmary. what I'll do. I'll put that one there, then the captain's quarters behind there, and then this one here. And I can of course close it off if I wanted to with stuff. Alright, let's have a look. So we got reactors. Have we got a stronger reactor here? This is 23, and I need to ship design one for that. Hold on, what have we got on the other one? Where did I put my reactor? I put that at the center here, didn't I? Reactor is 20. Oh, maybe, maybe that's a, it's an A. So why is it 23? Interesting. Doesn't make full sense to me, but uh, I guess as long as it works. And that is my graph drive, which is 27, max power 9, 2784. Let's have a look at what they got in terms of graph drives. Most expensive one is this one, which is a B, which I cannot do. That's a B as well. I guess that's an A, 27 and 9. as well stick with the current one it doesn't really make much of a difference okay so I've got engines here these are the uh, current engines which I can reuse quite nicely okay one more here I was thinking of keeping this strut. I can actually keep that strut there, that's fine. Question is, do I need more landing gears than that? Possibly. So let's use the landing gears we've got. The question now, of course, also is, where do I want to put my landing bay? I can take that landing bay from here. move it there if I don't have it hooking up to there that should be perfectly fine because that of course connects up to exactly the point which we called what was that called that place the companion way yes so that will be the one place where we basically are dealing with an element that we don't have at the moment Okay. Yeah, I'm roughly moving it around. That's not exactly where I want to have it, of course. That will be a nice place. If I just move this one back slightly, there you go. Looks a bit better. I do have to put a bit of yeah modeling and everything on here, I guess. It's sideways, interesting. Okay, in between the landing struts there. 
I kind of wanted to basically make it nicely symmetrical, but I cannot. This is a helium tank, and I cannot put that there because it doesn't work like that. Do I prefer to put these out here? Maybe. That allows me to put the helium tanks in there. So if I look at the helium tanks, what have we got? Helium tanks. Base, cargo, cockpit, docker, engine, fuel tanks. So these... Are for 100. Hold on. How much are these? These are 150. Dog star. So these are for 100 each. Interesting. So these are 75 each, 160 each. If I move that in there. Okay. I'll get rid of this. I like this cargo hull, but do I want to keep it? Yeah, possibly. That makes it possible to put something central here if I wanted to. Oh yeah, I do need a uh, space to put that. So what have I got here at the moment? That's my mess hall. I don't need another mess hall here as such, but this is quite nice to have. A means of looking out into space. All right, so this is a docker, a top docker. What kind of dockers have we got for ourselves here? And dockers have got their own category, isn't it? Cockpit dockers. A top docker, which we could fit in there, or I could potentially fit the existing module. Port docker. Yeah, it's going to be difficult with a port docker. It has to be a top one. That one's actually lighter. That might be a good place to put it if I were to lower it right into there. Ah, that would work. Battle stations. Do I want to keep that? Maybe. Maybe not. No, I'll get rid of that. That's a control station. I can to get rid of that. Captain's quarters I've already chosen an alternative for. Living quarters, workshop, engineering bay, infirmary. Have I got an infirmary? Yes I do. Living quarters I've got. That's the armory. That is the computer core. Living quarters stations okay so we see that we basically got a more powerful reactor now than we had before maximum crew is reduced though so what do I do about that I look at the Habs one by one this is storeroom I don't need storerooms I need something that gives me more not passenger slots but more crew stations. Computer cores, what have we got here? A three by one. I don't want to do a three by one. I don't want to do a... If only they did a one by three, that would be nice. Two by one. Ah, that's the Nova Galactic ones. Okay. Engineering bay? Mm, okay, I could look at that. Gives me one more crew station. Oh no, that's the Nova Galactic one. Ha! I don't want that. I want the Stroud ones. Storeroom. Nope. 
Only one birth. Strut armory. No. Computer core. Control station. That's a useful one. So if I position that one up here. Then I take this one and put it there and then put this one behind there. That means at the back of that I got that. Could I put this underneath? Can we rotate it? No. Can I put it at the top? I can of course put it at the top somewhere as an aesthetical item. But that's too high because that will, of course will block. If I had two of them, yes, that would work. Let's double check. Our current shield is a 440 and 10%. Shields. These are old C, that doesn't work. That's an A. 440, 10%. That is a 455 and 10%. Hmm. That one fits at the top instead of at the side. I'll have to be there instead of that one. Hold on. Let's re add that one. Yeah, that saves us a little bit of money. Uh, is it a lot? No, not really. I'll just add the other one because, of course, that's more powerful. Did it actually require more power? It requires five power max. Versus this one also five power. What's the difference? This one's more powerful, that's it. These of course all become Bs, which is fine. Then we got an error. What's the error? Cannot reach cockpit from Docker. Really? Oh, interesting. Now I can. Why, do, why does that not work? Ah, it has to be on that side. Ah, lovely. Okay. That would work. But I don't want it to work like that. Can I put more windows or something like that on there? Structural? Port top. Let's see what else we can put on here. Engine mount, okay, that's interesting. Engine brace, cowling. Okay. No, we're not gonna use that. That makes it too high again. These are quite cool if you can put these on. Uh, let's put another one of those on here. <laughs> There's so many places we can put them. This would be awesome, all the different views we can actually get from here. Um, let's put another one of these. Pretty, pretty neat. 
Okay, it's not exactly where we want it to be yet, but it's getting closer to where I want to be. It's, uh, I guess, a good, good level, yeah. Happy with that. Looks more interesting. I do need to put some aesthetical stuff on here. And yeah, at the moment we basically got four drives. Oh yes, one of the things I actually did want to do on here is actually look at, have they got any turret kind of weapons? Because those, of course, are typically far better. Auto cannons, pulse, missile, launcher. No, I don't see any turrets as of yet. Ah, oh, there's a turret there. But I need the higher ship design bit for that. Okay, let's uh, leave it as it is for now. And uh, exit this. Cool. Thank you very much for the uh, upgrade. Cost me a little bit of money, unfortunately. Um, have a look, quick look at my ship. So my ship at the moment, as you can see, has got a nice cargo capacity of 2200. So I could start taking cargo missions, as long as they're basically not too big. Let's uh, get to our cockpit. Get to here. Right. Let's get out of here. Cool. Ooh, there's a crashed ship, really? Oh, yeah, we've explored that already. There's a clinic. Yes, we've been there. Okay. So... Where can we find cargo missions? I'm pretty sure we can find some in Seoul if we go back to Mars. We're gonna land there straight away. So it's just a fast travel and then land there. Job done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our way into the base. Whereas earlier I couldn't actually take the cargo missions, now I should be able to. One second. There we go. Watch out for the robots. Really? Okay, so did I can deliver items like this, like heat sinks and such, to Aquila in this instance? Target plan is Aquila. Okay, I got five days to do that. How much does it give me? Two thousand. It's not a lot, but okay. Com relays to Mars Soul. Hold on. C create cargo link to supply. Ah, I need to create a cargo link. Okay. Delivery ultra batteries to Parima number three. I'm not sure I've been there, so but let's uh, go for the heat sinks for now. Okay. Let's go. F sorry, hold on. Where do we need to go? We need to go to Cheyenne, like I thought. And then on there, we need to go to. We're going to jump straight there. We're going to deliver our Welcome to the Free Star Collective. heat sinks. Please maintain your current course while we scan your ship. Thank you. Scanning. Yes. And that's it. Enjoy that Aquila City air. Hold on. in-system flying. I would potentially want to put a few more engines on here. I don't think I got the capacity at the moment. Anyways, we're going to hail them. Trident Star Yard acknowledging hail. All customers are warmly welcome. Nice. Our speed is 49. Really? Is that my maximum speed? Ah, oh, of course I haven't got everything assigned to it yet. I got powerful engines, but I just haven't designed it all. Okay. 
Oh yes, did I, how, how did I progress on this? I did nine, okay. Let's talk with them. I suspect that that's what will complete my mission. I can't say I've ever been here before. Let's uh, dock here. Yes, we've done our delivery. Mission completed. Got our eyes on you. I'm sure you're in the right place. Yes, I am. Ooh, what do they sell? Trident partnership opportunities. Okay, what do they do here? If you have any questions about our product line, welcome to Trident Luxury Lines. Where we if you have any questions now. Uh, we do not sell shoes. And it's not like you would have any. Okay. It's a trident. Deimos has. But what a, tr a crew. Of course. Okay. It's a character. And if I'm being. If you have your own ship, the Staryards have negotiated okay. a set price with. As a first time contractor. I am required by law to let you know, but obviously, mm -hmm. depending on your cargo hold size, you may need to make some. So what we need, we Iron. need a small shipment. 500 iron. Let me see your map. We'll unload that from your ship. Okay, I need more iron here. Okay, marvelous. Mercenaries, last seen at the abandoned station. Okay, yes, I can do that. It was not what I want to basically proceed with at this point. Try it. You would catch me dead on one of my life. I mean, Kate ships. Oops, hello. Do you? That was not my intention. My apologies. Tissues. Mind. I prefer my personal space be free of, well, you. I'm trying to work here. Yes, so I gather. Tried has been defining elegance. For okay. For you, Philippe didn't say it. This is the very. I find your apology. Thank you. Well, I suppose since you're here, it's here that. Do random strangers go up to Divinity? <laughs> interrupt bait. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, I am. I am Gladys Coffin. She if you have any other questions. Listen, if you want to talk about the map, me? Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Balancing elegance with a strict engineer. An art I'm particularly Oh, cool. my faith. Oh, it's a great honor. Yes, I, I've heard some associates. It's some. Mm -hmm. You seem to have none. Oh, fantastic. Yes, yes, goodbye. The velocity. Nope, I'm not gonna open this, thank you very much. I mean no offense, but what the heck is this? Why can I get in here? Wait, Oops. you know that's not ours. No, I didn't realize that. Thank you very much. Um hold on, I just dropped the entire lot of them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah. I just returned it. Okay, that's fine. Hello, mister. Why does it not lock on to him straight away? And what? Welcome to Trident. 
I envy you. Mm -hmm. Why, of course, and obviously. But I digress. I'm honored to be the head. Educating the mass. Wow. I can't think of. Of course, I. I'm also marketing, and so my message. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose it is somewhat odd. Uh, the Triton, well, as long okay. as you... Back to work. Any magazines or anything lying around here that would basically give me any skills? That would be really useful. I don't see anything. It doesn't mean that there is none. You are my... Okay, something is missing from there. Never mind. No funny business, all right? I wasn't planning on it, but okay. Take it easy. Thank you. All right, what can we do here? Got some business here? Why would I go into the vent? I'm not sure. Okay, so they're looking for iron here. Cool. That's my docker at the top, I believe. Yeah, my top docker. And then connects it straight up to my mess hall, which then connects up to the cockpit. Nice. I like it. Now what we can do, we can of course from here, on dock, we can go straight to, I think Cheyenne we can go to. Aquila City. Always good to go to a city and basically pick up another mission. There ought to be mission terminals close by. I just have to see if I can find them. As wonderful as living worlds are, look out for predators. Hello, mister. Anything I can need some work done? Sure, how about? Okay, let's have a look at the shipbuilder. What has he got on offer in terms of modules? Shields he's got. Structural equipment plate. What is an equipment plate? I'm not sure. Structural component, a logic component, allow you to modify your ships. Okay, ah, I guess he allows you to connect something up to it. Okay. A bumper A allows to ship. Okay. Hope Tech marker A. Nose four. Okay, interesting. Port. Mid riser. Thruster. They don't really do anything, do they? Suppressor. These Yeah, I forgot about that. Wow, I already got almost a thousand on there. What have they got that I don't have as of yet? There's a railgun turret. Interesting. Railgun turret. Neutron turret. So that's a range of 3,000. And the other one had a range of 1200. This one's got a range of 1200, but fire rate of five, damage 18. What's the power is four. 
And the power is three. I like this. Interesting. That looks huge though, doesn't it? Auto projector, 3011. Really aesthetically pleasing. That looks better. Okay, perfect. Let's duplicate that onto there. Yes. Exceed reactor class. Ah, they're bees, that's why. That's a bee as well. They're all bees, unfortunately. I was hoping that the turrets wouldn't be bees. So which one do we want to do? Fire rate is higher, damage is lower, but... Okay. Yes, I need to assign them to a group. Would have been so much easier if I could just have been, just gone differently. Anyways, guys, we're on the, this planet. We're basically going to call it a day. Slightly shorter episode than normal, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We'll see you next one. In the meantime, take care. Bye-bye.